mango mousse. Hi, welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. My name is Zai, and today we are going to make a very interesting recipe, which is mango mousse. Let's quickly go through the ingredients. To make the mango mousse, we require a cup of mango pulp, a cup of white chocolate, which is chopped roughly, half a cup of fresh cream, half a cup of whipping cream, chocolate chips as required. Here I have a non-stick pan. We'll add the fresh cream to the non-stick pan. Once we add the fresh cream to the non-stick pan, we'll mix it properly and we will allow it to boil. We don't want the cream very hot. See the boil is coming. Now the cream is boiled. We'll switch off the gas and we will add this fresh cream to the chopped white chocolate and we'll mix it properly. Here the chocolate will melt easily since the fresh cream is boiled and it is hot. So we don't need to melt the white chocolate on a double boiler or in a microwave. We'll mix it properly so that all the white chocolate is melted and there are no lumps. Now the chocolate is melted and the mixture is smooth. We will set this aside to cool. And by the time it is coming back to the room temperature, we will whip some cream. The cream that I have here is a whipping cream and it already has sugar added to it. Normally what you get in the market is a cream like this or if you get the whipping cream without sugar, what you can do is while whipping the cream, you can add the powdered sugar and whip it. Here I have an electric hand blender. If you don't have a blender like this, you can use a plain whisk and whip the cream. We have to whip the cream till it forms soft peaks so that it can be folded easily into the mango mousse. Okay, now the cream is whipped nicely. You can see. To bring the whipping cream to this consistency, we'll have to whip it for around 5 to 7 minutes if you're using the electric blender. If you're using a wire whisk, it will take some more time. So now the cream is ready. Our chocolate and cream mixture has come down to the room temperature. Alright. Now we'll add the fresh mango pulp to this. If the fresh mango pulp is not available, you can also use the canned mango pulp in this recipe and make the recipe. So now we'll add the mango pulp. Okay. We'll mix it once again. We'll add some more mango pulp to get a nice bright yellow color. Now we have mixed the mango pulp with the chocolate mixture. We'll fold in some whipped cream. This will give a light and fluffy texture to the mousse and it will also make the mousse very rich. I think this is enough. We will fold in slowly. While folding in the cream, you have to do it very slowly. Otherwise, the air which is gone inside while whipping the cream, it will all be lost and your mousse will not be light. Alright, the mousse is ready. Now for the serving, here I have some short glasses. So what we'll do is, we'll take a disposable piping bag and we'll pour this mixture into the piping bag. Okay, we'll fill the short glasses with this mousse. A mango mousse has gone inside the glasses. Now we'll refrigerate this mango mousse for around 15 to 20 minutes so that it sets properly and it is ready to serve. Okay, now the mango mousse is set. We'll add some fresh mango pulp on top. And we'll sprinkle some chocolate chips. Mango mousse is ready. Enjoy it. Chill.